Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Mr. Jordy here for our daily read aloud. We are in chapter 12, Into the River. Remember yesterday we left off where um, the group had mostly made it across um, the three island. The last ones to be crossing were um, Pa and Mr. Harrigan and um, they were at the very last little stretch, the really toughest stretch to come across. So let's see what's going to happen. Here they come, Lizzie said, taking a deep breath. Pa and Mr. Harrigan drove the cattle back into the river and set out from the second island. At first, the horse's gants were strong and sure, but the river got deeper fast. Soon, Nugget was straining to keep his chin out of the water. Come on, Sam whispered. Keep coming, Nugget. He was staring so hard at Pa and Nugget that he didn't notice what was happening to Mr. Harrigan. Bess was trying to follow Pa and Nugget, but the current seemed to be pushing her downstream, closer and closer to the spot where Dr. Loring had had trouble. Watch out, Sam shouted. It's too deep there, but Mr. Harrigan couldn't hear him over the water. Bess was already struggling to keep her head out of the rushing river. Mr. Harrigan was close enough for Sam to see the fear on his face. He jerked the reins, but Bess was too spooked to obey. Sam could hear her whining and snorting. Her gant was jerky and unsure. She looked like she might rear up at any second and throw Mr. Harrigan into the river, and there wasn't a thing Sam could do to stop it. So he screamed again, it's too deep, even though he knew the river would swallow up his words. At that moment, Pa turned and looked over his shoulder. He yanked his reins and turned Nugget around to go back. Oh Lord, Ma whispered, clenching her hands together, shaking her head. It's okay, Ma, Sam tried to comfort her. Pa's got him, look. Nugget was a bigger, sturdier horse. Pa rode him right up alongside Bess to keep her pushing against the river's current. And then they were moving forward again toward shore and safety. See? Sam squeezed his mother's trembling hand and looked up at her tear-stricken face. Pa took care of it. Here they come. No, Ma screamed. Sam turned in time to see Nugget going wild in the water. He didn't buck once and settle down like Dr. Loring's horse had. Nugget reared up over and over, kicking his front legs at the air as if he could fight off some invisible enemy. Pa in the water with Nugget. Pa couldn't hold on. He lost his grip on the reins, slid off the horse and splashed into the river. Mr. Harrigan was right there. Should have been close enough to grab him, but the water was frothing with stomping horse hoofs and current and mud. Mr. Harrigan leaned down from his horse, hands stretched out, but Pa was already gone. No, Ma wailed again. She splashed into the river up to her knees staring out at the deep water as if she could tug Pa into shore with her eyes. Sam couldn't breathe. He couldn't move. He could only stare at Mr. Harrigan, jerked his head around, searching and looking. That makes sense. Go back. Sam couldn't breathe. He couldn't move. He could only stare as Mr. Harrigan jerked his head around, searching and looking. Ranger ran to Sam and lifted his nose. He could smell Pa's scent in the air along with everyone else and the horses and cattle. He smelled sage and bacon grease from breakfast and rain from last night. And above it all, he sensed cold, raw fear. There, Sam hollered so hard his throat burned. He pointed to a spot in the river, just a few feet downstream. Pa was barely keeping his head above water, trying to swim back to the horses. Mr. Harrigan turned best and tried to guide her there but it was deeper water and she was already too spooked. Pa disappeared again. When he surfaced the next time, it was farther away. Sam only saw his face for a second before the river pulled him back. Ranger saw it too. He'd heard this kind of shouting, seen this splashing once before in a river in the mountains near Luke's house. Swift water training, Dad had called it. Ranger and Luke had come along while Dad and the other rescue crew members practiced saving people who fell in the water. Ropes, there were lots of ropes. Ranger broke away from Sam and raced for the wagon. And that is the end of chapter 12. 
and tomorrow we will find out what happens um, with this rescue attempt. So chapter 13 says, um, the title, Grab the Rope. So I think that Ranger's going to go into action and try to help Pa. I will see you friends tomorrow. Have a great afternoon.